All right, guys, we are at the 22nd Street Gem Show, and uh, masks are required, so I'll be talking through this thing the whole time. So that's why I'll be muffled. But we are right here outside of Aerolite's booth, and uh, as always, they have some really nice stuff. Super excited for a lot of stuff. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Just gonna give you an overall view for a second. Um, they have this uh, Martian Shurgatite over here that I was checking out earlier. So it's actually NWA 10961. And I believe that's a poikilitic Shurgatite. You can tell by the, uh, the structure of it. Hello, Jose. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, Marissa. Yeah. Hey there. Yeah. So, I'm not really sure what that one is. I finally made it to Aerolite. Yes. Look at that Martian back there. So, there's uh, a normal Shurgatite showing a nice shock vein running through the entire section. That's why I'm, I tend to believe that this is the uh, Poikilitic. Maybe someone can fact check me on that one. Is that Marco Geyser on there? <laughs> Um, this has been something that's been super, super popular uh, this year. Libyan Desert Glass and Moldavite. The Moldavite is so popular right now that uh, it's really hard to keep in stock. And um, it's impossible to hunt right now because the ground is frozen over in, uh, in the Czech Republic. So, from what I'm understanding, uh, hey Al, good to see you. From what I'm understanding, it's really, really getting hard to, to get Moldavite. And uh, the next thing that's gonna be super hard to get is your Libyan Desert Glass. <coughs> Sorry. So they have some, some cool pieces of Libyan Desert Glass. This one up here is amazing. Noise. <laughs> yeah so um let's see what this is down here they don't have the classification on it but it's nwa 10514 it looks like a ukrite and it has vesicles in it and then oh we have the famous diagonite back there 7831 there you go. Yeah, the pricing on the Moldavite and uh, and Libyan Des the Moldavite is just going outrageous. Yeah, um, ridiculously expensive compared compared to previous years, I should say. Look at this Mars down here. See if I can get a good angle at it. So then there's some slices of Mars here, I believe. All right. I wonder what this is in the very bottom. These are um, Nininger's uh, Tektites. If anyone sees anything they like here, you can contact Aerolite on Facebook and they'll definitely hook you up. I'm not doing a sale, I'm just doing a live broadcast. 
Now, I will tell you there's something I made by myself. Tank Mountain from Arizona, found near Gila Bend and Yuma. And we're talking about $4 a gram with a nice crust line, partial slice. Maybe it is a whole slice, just natural break, but that's a beautiful meteorite slice from Arizona. Hey, Elias, you found us. We're looking at Tank Mountain, uh, Arizona meteorite that I, I have in my collection, but I don't have a slice and I definitely don't have one of this caliber. So that's Tank Mountain and I'm, I really, really want that one to go home with me. This is cool, Zarev. Um, wow. Uh, Aerolite actually has amazing prices on this. The Russians were selling it for $2 a gram. Aerolite has it for a dollar a gram. Sarev. When you cut it, it's black on the inside. So. Thanks, Elias. I appreciate that, man. Oh, look at this Canyon Diablo. That's nice. It's got some worming in there. Little Canyon Diablo. My home state. Um, oh, look at this. Nice little end cut uh, slice. That's nice. Another Kenny Diablo. This one is under 70 bucks. <clears throat> I'm at Aerolite at the 22nd Street Gem Show. Um, over here are attack sites. These are Dronino from Russia. Uh, let me see here. Don't have the weight on that one. But, so that's an attack site, so you're not going to have uh, a Vidman Staten pattern coming through on it. Just a nice mirror shine on it. Oh, little individual Canyon Diablos. With nice patina. This is in Tucson. Thank you, Marissa. Yeah, I'm at I'm at Aerolite right now. This as you can see by their specimen cards. Aerolite. Um, yeah, so I'm looking at little Canyon Diablos. Before we get into the super cool uh, palisites, and they got some wonderful palisites, I wonder if they'll I wonder if they'll open up the cabinet for me when I go to the palisites. Oh, I, uh, I wonder if they will. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, so I love seeing little Arizona meteorites. Um, Right next to Arizona, we got Agudals. So, uh, all kinds of little Agudals. Pretty clean. Pretty clean. Nice. Uh, some good shaped uh, Canyon Diablos. That's a good one. All right. Muoniana Lusta. We're looking at about 40 grams for 120 bucks.
any of you guys into the rounds. I like them more with a natural line like that, at least on one side. But that's a nice pattern. Look at the shift in the colors. I just got some nice uh, Gademus. Where'd I get that from? I just bought some really nice Gademus for myself. Um, oh, from uh, Brazil. Eureka. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's ridiculous. I, I put a bag down like, hey, can you watch this bag for a second? It's worth more than my truck. <laughs> That's not Mooney on Alusta. Where did I get that from? Oh, Eureka, right there. Um, ooh. St. Alban. Look at those long linear lines. Woo. Yeah, look at this. We have this whole rack here. They have jewelry and stuff down in here. They have a bunch of uh, shirts. I think some even have like the moon impregnated uh, dust in them or whatever. Uh, more jewelry down there. Right now I'm checking out the irons. This is St. Aubin. That's super sweet. Let's see. That one is about 30 grams for 236. Uh, Here's a St. Alban, it's 15 grams for 125. <laughs> oh no! <clears throat> meteorite down, meteorite down. That's what happens when I look at the comments, Jason. That was your fault. <laughs> Gotta get back under one of the lights, there we go. This is St. Aubin. Yuriku. So about two bucks a gram for a Brazilian. I'm not sure how long they go today, probably another three hours or so. But uh, I'm leaving soon. After, after I do this live, I'm probably heading back to Phoenix. I, uh, I'm hurting pretty badly. This constant bending over uh, is not good for me. But it's needed. <laughs> I did have the opportunity. I did have the opportunity a little bit ago in the Russians room. They got... Uh, two cases, huge cases that came in of Gademus and they were all wrapped. So uh, Jason Utas and I had a chance to go through them. Uh, we were the first ones. We actually got a razor blade, cut open the packages, unwrapped all of them and took a look at all of them. And the one I got is beautiful. You can actually see it, it's impacted into the ground. You can see smear marks on the side of it. It's super sexy, but you don't care about me right now. You want to see meteorites. Cameron, what was the price on the Canyon Diablos? I'm not sure which one you're looking at, but like this one here is 97, I think, for 43. $30 for 13. 42 for 10. This one is, what is that, 108 for 48? Um, the Gademus has to be held for, I have, I can show you, I can show you the one in my car, yes. Um, I'll, I'll probably post a video of that tonight when I get home. Oh, a little individual Sarah shows. 
see if we can get any olivine sparkle. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I'll show you the, the Gadimus. It is, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I, after unwrapping them all, it was really hard to decide on which one I wanted, but I just kept coming back to that one. And I was like, I couldn't talk myself out of it. Little Sarah show hearts. Yeah, the hardest thing to get these days is, uh, uh, oh, is this Moldavite or Darwin glass? Oh, this is Darwin glass, okay. I thought at first I was picking up Moldavite. Moldavite's getting really expensive. Hey Marco, good to see you in Germany, buddy. Fred in Canada, good to see you, my man. Some lunar meteorites here. Obviously the display is nice. Let's take a quick run down this one real quick. Ooh, Admire Nuggets. Uh, let me see here. There we go. Um, the Moldavite, Moldavite craze started uh, on a, from like, like a TikTok thing. Some TikTok influencer made a video and featured, uh, Moldavite and said it was like relieving her pain, giving her energy, clearing her mind, cleared up her urinary tract infection. I don't know, but everyone started soaking up um, the Moldavite as soon as they could. Now it's uh, Libyan Desert Glass is next. So if, if you have Libyan Desert Glass or Moldavite, uh, it's going up in value. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, Chris Monk in the house. What is, uh, this is still an Admire nugget. Come on, focus. Hmm. Phone's not focusing. All right, well, let's look at some bigger things since my phone doesn't want to focus. Nice Campo di Cielo. It's 7.4 kilos, really wicked shape to it. Look at that, that divot in there. So that's a beautiful shapely compo. It, it's very similar shape to mine. Mine has the same up and over and over. Oh, I don't think they're eating it. I think they just hold the desert, the Moldavite in their hand and they feel the energy coming off of it or something like that. I don't know. I, I eat lunar dust and Martian dust and unclassified meteorite dust, but I don't eat glass. So here's a 34 kilogram Canyon Diablo. Wow. Oh. God, I, I can't even rotate this thing, guys. That's beautiful. Now, if you guys like Nantan, there's a Nantan right here. It's 16 kilos. Now this, I thought, was an iron at first because it's with all the other irons, but it is not. It is a chondrite. So, let's look up here and see what we have. That's oh, an L3, LL3.
what what street is he normally out of? Oh, look at that. Erg check in the house. The oldest volcanic rock in the solar system. Aguazarcus. Tacitet, I guess that's Tacitet 004. Which is the uh, the melt breccia? Cool shot of Vinales up there. Allende, beautiful. Look at I didn't even see that up there. Look at those individuals. Oh, those are nice. There's an end cut. That is beautiful. I didn't even see that one up there. Wow. So here's some Allende slices. That one actually has a hole in it. And that one is just chock full of CAIs. So again, we're at Aerolite down in Tucson. Ooh, Abba Panu. I, I think I'm going to go buy that tank mountain, which only leaves one tank mountain left. Who just said that? Mike Kennedy? If you want, I'll, I'll pick it up for you, man. I can't bend down far enough. My back's hurting, guys. You'll just have to enjoy from this distance. Wow, they got some nice. Yeah, so this one, that's nice. Uh, it was like, let me go, let me go back there, Mike. It was like four dollars a gram. Um, this is the one I'm buying right here. It's. Tank Mountains, um, 21 grams, well, 20, 21 and a half for 86 bucks. And then, oh, it doesn't come out. Then this is the other one that's available. Tank Mountain, 14.4 for 57. Thank you, Saeed. This has a nice cross line on it as well. Come on. Good metal, nice chondrules. Oh. All right, thank you, Mike. That's awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them both up there real quick. Where my, where'd it go? Hold on. Where'd my tank mountain go? Oh, there it is. Scared myself. Okay. Put away for us. All right, Mike, we're all taken care of. Oh, you're in Queen Creek, man. It fell near Yuma and uh, Gila Bend. So these are just uh, unclassified NWAs, showing some good metal. Um, doesn't have the weight on it, but it has a price. Some, some quality slicing though. 
the big one down there. Yeah. There's another, uh, this one is Albudo, Boldo, never heard of it. Shock beyond belief. Look at the shocking on this one. Wow. That is super cool. 68 bucks for the super shocked one. God dang, man. Mike, I'll, uh, send me a PM. We'll hook up later on the details for that. That's a CV3, I bet. Uh, let me see what it is. That uh, doesn't tell me. No problem. No problem, buddy. Oh, here it is. It's uh Oh, it's a CR2. Did I, did I get out of the same? No. Okay. I, were, I was right. It was a CV3. Now I'm picking up NWA 10256. It's a uh, CR2. And you can definitely see the CR2 factor of it with the uh, the tan. Look at that. Um, they have some Allende over there, but I didn't really see any huge CAIs. This is NWA, uh, what is it? A6, oh, 869? Okay. Let's look at some Palisades, guys. No. Oh. Dum dum dum! Oh my god, look at the Fu Kang. Wow. Yeah, C CR2, uh, you'll, you'll see that all the time in CR2s. Um, these Fukang. The camera is on, you guys, so you gotta be really careful. Oh, you gotta watch out when this guy's around. I know, I know. <laughs> How you doing, her? Good, uh, good. Yeah, we got Ruben Garcia in the house. Keep an eye on him. Yeah, he's, he's tracking me down, making sure I'm leaving some good pieces. Yeah, Fukang is absolutely crazy beautiful. Later, Ruben. All right, see you, bro. Ruben Garcia, Mr. Meteorite. Uh, I will look. Look at that, admire. Sarah show. Oh, let's finish up the top row. We have, I, I'm getting distracted. Look, look at that. Spring water. Look at the size of that spring water. That had to be cut from uh, the Mike, Mike Farmer find. Wow. 
A tiny little Imalac right there. And then the NWA 10023. Um, let me see if I can get a good angle on it. There it is. My arms are burning, guys. A slice of bra hen. Looks to have a little bit of a waffle on it. But, but bra hen is beautiful. As you know, it's from Belarus. Oh, don't look at me. As you know, it's from Belarus. First discovered in 1810. And uh, the strewn field was contaminated by the Chernobyl accident, so for years it was uh, unhuntable. So just now, people are risking to go back out there and hunt more brahen. Here are some serachos. Look at this massive serracho down here. Wow. And a hunk. In case you want a big cube. Can you say screensaver? Wallpaper. Look at this one, it's nearly a complete ciderite. You can really see why at first when uh, they found um, Sarah, uh, Semchen it was classified as an iron meteorite because all they were finding was were the uh, iron siderites. And then they started discovering the mixed uh, olivine ones and it was classified as a, uh, as a palisite. Look at this. That's gotta be Bondock. No, it's not, NWA 2332. That's beautiful meso. I think they have a few Imolex up on that shelf up there, I'm gonna have to look. A mesoceterite sphere. There's Bondock. Wow, that's beautiful right there, man. How much is that one? Six grand? Yeah, I got good taste. Man, I want that so badly. Let's do this one. And it has this really dark spot right here. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It's not just the lighting, it's actually in the rock. It's in the stone itself. I don't know what that is. It's like a dark patch of olivine, but I don't know why it would exist there. Mm. Hold on, I gotta stand up, guys. Oh. Uh, Imolac. Imolac. I thought I saw some Imolac. Huh? Let's see here. Here's a, uh, hold on guys. Look at that. See, this is, this is what I was saying. <laughs> Only in Tucson. These are all Campo de Cielos now that we're looking at. Look at this. Look at the shape. 
Look at the shape. Beautiful. My arms hurt too much to lift things up anymore, guys, so I just have to rotate it for you. Beautiful horn on this. Campo de Cielo. Uh, obviously, uh, X on that one. Wow. All right, time to stand up again. <clears throat> <clears throat> More St. Alban from France moving into Mundrabilla for our Aussie mates and beautiful Jebel Hamel. Look at this orange peeling on there. That is crazy beautiful Gebel. Um, there's another gevel and some compo. Oh. This glass is freaking my camera out. Oh well. Put it all the way up against it, try that. Yeah, it, it's. Mine seems to work. There you go. So that's awesome. Alright. Some Odessas. Wolf Creek. Thanks, I, I actually have a new cell phone on the way to my house in, in a week or so, I should have it. And it's gonna be able to do vlogger mode. So when you're, when this camera is pointing this way, there'll also be a camera pointing back at me. So you'll be able to see me at the same time. Oh, Sakota Lynn, you sexy little beast. Look at that. I'm trying to show that one off. It's hard to find. There it is. They have it hit. And then this one has a rollover lip and a half. Oh, man. Wow. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, I have never seen a Sakota Lynn that big cut in half before. Look at how beautiful Regmig lift the handle of it is. And the large, large oversized crystal metal structure. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this, guys. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. That's what I think as well. Who has... Who has the idea to cut something this beautiful and make it even more beautiful? They saved so many regmoglyphs in this little cut right here that's that's what completes this entire piece wow
I have never seen one this beautiful in my life with the reggies and then the slice. I mean, you have to have balls to cut a Sakota Lynn to begin with, but you're rewarded with that huge crystal structure. Wow. Arrow Light has outdone it. So this one is just about, uh, I think, three kilos. As you push it down carefully. Yeah. That's gorgeous. See, now I can actually go in here. Yeah, that's a, that's a, every meteorite is a one, is a one off, but that's definitely a piece. That right there is a show piece because it displays perfectly. It absolutely displays perfectly. You get the classic Sakota Lynn, uh, regmaglyphs, and then it almost looks like a, like a cornucopia. Well, this is awesome. Now that uh, the sliding glass doors are done, I can get a little bit better shots for you guys. This is Odessa from Texas. Ooh, hand numbered. Hold on, someone says they want to buy that? Oh. So these are all Odessas from Texas. They're uh, individuals. Hand numbered. So that's the University of New Mexico numbering on there, which means it's the same over here because it's the same uh, nomenclature. So if you guys want a University of New Mexico numbered Odessa. That's super nice. Now let me get down the shelf, see what we got. That is Dronino, out of focus. There you go. And Dronino is the mirror polish. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's Compo. That's Compo, but this is Gibeon. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Okay, we're taking you out. Oh my word. Look at this Gibeon, folks. It's 5.8 kilos and gorgeous. Look at that. It wouldn't, oh, it wouldn't take much to, to turn that into a self-stander. What a display piece. What a display piece, guys. 5.8 kilograms of Gibeon from Namibia. That is amazing. By the way, I used up all my web data, my uh, cell phone data days ago. And I, every time it pauses, it's costing me another $15 because I'm using that much data. 
So whenever the video pauses like it just did, that's $15 of data. <laughs> Now, it's my understanding that there's, some, there's a lot of compos, but they're not all compo de cellos. This is a compo Las Palas. Man, it's beautiful. Yeah, the Wi-Fi in my... In, they turned off all the Wi-Fi in all the hotels. Ridiculous. And, like, they gave us passwords that didn't work. And it was just easier just to stay on cell phone and not lose connection. So, yeah, I've been eating up my data, redonkulous-wise, all weekend long. Three point... What, oh, 2.2 .2 kilos for the Campo Las Palas. Las Palmas self-standing display piece as well wow okay we're gonna close this up okay some nantan and i think we looked in here already uh oh they got thin sections all right guys all right i'm hurting pretty bad this getting up and down uh is not good on my body so i'm done i'm logging off i'm gonna take a break and then head back up to Chandler but uh, if there's any piece you want to see over here or any piece you want to own that you saw just contact Aerolite on their Facebook page and they'll hook you up Cameron I'm gonna take one last spin over to the uh, Canyon Diablos and then I'm gonna log off so well, I need to mask up first okay so one last look at the Canyon Diablos right here you said like a $30 $40 one here's one for 24 24 here's one for 22 that's really neat this one here is 30 hey thanks Roberto Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Al. Marissa, Matthew. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I, as you guys may know, I'm semi disabled, so I've had about 25 strokes, and uh, I can only do so much before the pain is unbearable. So I appreciate you guys dealing with me. Um, but Cameron, I'm gonna shoot you over a picture of this tray. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I had a blast in Tucson this year. Say hello to the team at Aerolite. We're logging off. See you guys.